George with the screen on Rose. G dishes to George. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. You know, even though he missed that three-point shot, I think the defense has to do a better job of challenging the shot. Yeah, because you know if you continue to give up open looks like that, you're in big trouble. Butler with the ball, now guarded by G. And Butler, here we go. And they'll keep possession. Stolen by Stevenson. Here's G. One points in the game. Stevenson passes to G. Outside, George. 11 feet away. And the shot is long. He has not been on his game. And, you know, their deficit isn't totally on him, but he has not helped the situation. Butler with the ball. George picks him up. Rose kicks to Snell. Butler dishes to Rose. That's good. Rose has got four this quarter. An excellent display of passing out there, fellas. I mean, eight of their last ten points have been assisted on. Well, they continue to find the open man and play unselfishly. This is true team basketball we're seeing. Rose with the double team. G passes to Millsap. No luck. And in Chicago the other way. They've led by as much as 10. The Pacers beat them last time when these two teams met in Indiana. Yeah, I thought their defense in that game was about as shaky as it could be. At home, you know, that kind of defense isn't going to cut it. Never mind if you're on the road. They really look tired to me, and I don't know if they had travel issues or if they were out too late, but something was amiss because they had no energy. Mahimi's checked in for the Pacers. Goran Dragic is checked in for Chicago. Here's G, averaging 29 points per contest. And Gasol comes to help. G kicks to Stevenson. Here's Nene. That's good, and it's Stevenson with the assist. Stevenson's got three assists tonight. Fantastic pass. He turned that one into a pretty easy basket for his teammate. Rose dishes to Dragic. Gasol passes to Dragic. Feeds the Rose. Shot clock at six. There's Bearstow. No good off the back of the rim. Oh, you have to get a hand into his face because that's his range right there. Gasol with the steal. Dragic gets the bucket. Dragic has got 10 points in the game. Not trying to rattle any rims or racks there. Just up and in with the finger roll. Here's G. He's got 21. They set the screen. Outside, George just five to shoot. Connects from three-point range. 11 points in the game. The defenders need to talk to each other. The communication lacking there on that three-pointer. Logic gets to Gasol. Now here's Rose, guarded closely. Can't hit the step back jump shot. That's one he knows he should have made. Here's G. And the pass to Mahimi. And there are the Pacers with another bucket. You know, I think when you've got somebody that open on the perimeter, a good shooter, the kick out's the only choice. Outside Rose. To Snell. Elbow shot. And that one's good. Tony Snell. Snell's got seven points. Pacers trail by four. Here's G. Stolen by Rose. Last break, here comes Chicago. Rose with the ball. And there's the foul on the shot. He'll go to the line for two. Let's see where the Pacers are, Kevin, in terms of the NBA rankings right now. First in scoring. First in assists. And they're also number one getting into the passing lanes and coming up with steals. An aggressive team that ball hawks very effectively. 
And the points that they're scoring per game that you talked about is really a result of great offensive execution. And this is a club that works well together. They get great looks, and they'll also score in transition. George Hills checked in for Indiana. Here's Gene. Outside Hill. Six to shoot. Felton against Hill. Baldwin the pass to Dragic. Gasol setting the pick for Dragic. Shoots the three. Pacers with the rebound. G's got five rebounds tonight. There's the lob to the hoop. The shot by Nene. No good. The alley-oop is such a fun play to watch, but when it doesn't convert, it's uh, probably the wrong choice. I guess that makes that one a terrible choice. And, uh, oh, here, there's a whistle. He was going up for a layup, and while it looked like there was some contact, I wasn't sure they were going to call it a foul shot or not, but sure enough, they have. So he'll head to the free throw line. What do you guys think so far about the offensive approach for the Bulls? Anytime you get as many points in the paint as they have, you know you've got a good thing going and you just want to keep it going. And I also like the penetration. I mean, they're getting into the paint. They're getting a lot of easy hoops from those strong drives. Gasol doing all sorts of things. He's got 10 points, and his two blocks have given them a lift defensively. Well, you have to protect the rim, Clark. You know that. And when you do that as well as he has today, it really bodes well for your team. Here's G. He's guarded by Dragic. Fires from the wing. And it's George missing. Major defensive lapse right there. I mean, he's not a player you can leave open for a jump shot. You've got to stay attached to him. They're lucky he couldn't punish them for it. Passes it to Baldwin. Inside to Gasol. And count the basket. He was fouled, and he's going to the line for one more. He shot the ball exceptionally well as they've built this lead for themselves here. And the Bulls making a change here. Nick Dermott's checked in. Guys, they're looking for a spark here. Yeah, I mean, a cold stretch offensively. They desperately need a basket. Here's G. He's got 21. Outside Hill. Shot to stop the drought, and he gets it to go. Hill's got six points. 146 left here in the third quarter. Felton dishes to McDermott. Elbow shot is on the way. Pacers with the rebound. Mahimi's got his fourth rebound in this one. In the corner, George with it. Nene, the screen. Here's G. There's the three. The rebound by Gasol. Gasol's got rebound number seven for him tonight. Baldwin the pass to Felton. Dishes it to Gasol, and that comes off the assist by Raymond Felton. And that's 15 points for Paul Gasol. Pacers trail by nine. Here's G. Oh, that's blocked. And that's out of bounds. Indiana will retain possession. The Pacers making a switch here. Hibbert's checked in. There's 57 seconds left to play here in the third. On the wing, George. He's got 11. And G has it in the corner. Rogic against George. Rogic kicks to Gasol. Now here's Dragic. Defense right on him. And that one's good. And now it's an 11 point Bulls lead. Indiana's gone a less than productive two of six from three point land in the second half. We've got a nine second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. A fadeaway. And that one's good by G. G's got eight here in the quarter. The Bulls leading by nine. Lucas. Outside Dragic. Baldwin the pass to McDermott. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up and two shots coming up. Easy call there. No question about that one. 
You can hear the impact from where I am. On the night, he's gone two for two at the stripe. Well, you got to admire what he's been able to do at the free throw line this season, shooting better than 90% from the strike. And you know, with those numbers, he makes a defender hesitant to get too tight on him. I mean, he doesn't want to get whistled for the foul and put this guy on the line. There's Avanti. He got it up that time, but it wouldn't fall for him. Tune in next Sunday night. Here now a chance to show you our assist of the game. And it's presented as always by State Farm. It was a beautiful pass. Nice, intelligent basketball. The execution was perfect. That pass set up the open three. And Chicago shooting 52% from the floor. Nice work so far from them. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups courtesy of Gatorade for the fourth quarter. On the court for Indiana. Stevenson and George on the wings. Paul Millsap out there with Roy Hibbert, and it's G in at the point guard. And the shot is good. Felton has got the fourth quarter going with the first basket of the period here for the Bulls. G dishes to Hibbert. Not loose. Indiana moving the ball. Over. Here's G. He's guarded by Trunich. Levante. Shot no good. And Chicago will go the other way with the ball. You got to give them a lot of credit for the job they've done on the backboard. Well, they've done a lot of things right, but I agree with you, Clark. Their rebounding is right there at the top of the list. That was Roy Hibbert getting in the way of the defense there. 60 seconds off the clock here in the fourth. Here's Felton. G with the rebound. G's got six rebounds now in the game. Millsap a screen. Here's G. Shot clock at five. Hibbert with the screen. There's Avanti. He gets rebounded by Bearstow. Chicago leading by 12. Dragic with it. Now guarded by G. Butler kicks to Dragic. Felton against Milsa. Back to Dragic. That's good, and so Felton has the assist there. Dragic has got the lead up to 14 now for the Bulls. Game moves along. Two minutes gone here in the fourth. Hibbert with a screen on Dragic. G passes to Millsap. Excellent. Really solid job, actually, by the defense to get in his way as he was going up for that one. And the refs are going to rule that unnecessary contact. It's a flagrant one foul. He really didn't give the official any choice, Kevin. Way too much body-to-body -body contact there. And I'll tell you what, he's lucky on that one that he didn't get hit with a flagrant two foul, which would be an ejection. Yeah, he would have been out of the game if he had. And the league is doing everything it can to protect its players. And you know, Steve, I think the officials have a really good understanding here of when to issue those unnecessary contact calls. McDermott passes to Bears. George against Butler. The feed to Dragic. From deep. Pacers with the rebound. Not the best shot. Long range and with a defender right in his space. And defensively, that's the kind of work he's known for. I mean, he loves to lock you up. Here's G in the corner. George with it. Hibbert with a screen on Dragic. Avanti. Oh, oh, ridiculous. Tore him down that time. Forget about going for the long-range bomb to cut into that lead. Just take it to the hoop, my friend. Oh, take it to the hoop. And how, Clark, brilliant throwdown. Yeah, just exerting his authority out there. A bit under three and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth. To the inside. Looking at the game for George. He's got 11 points, and he's got nine points from behind the arc. Yeah, that's been an important part of his game today. He's made his open look. Some changes for Chicago. Tony Snell comes in for Raymond Felton. And Derrick Rose is subbed in for Goran Dragic. Chicago leading by 12. 
It's stolen by G. And there's the slam dunk to finish it off. I could give him.